Good evening. Welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. I hope that you're well this evening. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome to Interesting Talks. Um, here we try to share valuable information that can help you with your life, have a better life, and give you some clues on how to improve your life. For regular listeners, regular viewers, thank you for coming back and listening to Interesting Talks this evening. Do like, share, leave comments. I love the comments. I do reply to them. And as normal, everybody learns from each other. So the more comments you give, the more people will learn. Uh, tonight's talk is about when the mind speaks. When the mind speaks. Uh, I'm going to be covering some subject that I've covered before, but try to put a little bit of a different spin on it. And this is because over the last couple of months, I've come across a lot of people that have pushed themselves very hardly towards achieving their goals or from avoiding facing up to their responsibilities or what's going on in their life. And this leads them to get, enter into a phase of their development or this psyche, which is called psychosomatic illnesses. And psychosomatic illnesses is a thing whereby the mind says to the body, stop what you're doing. You're doing too much. Now, this can be for people that overwork, they're really, really busy. Um, you're living in stressful situations with family members or your partner, in the difficult relationships with people in general, and or you're just overworking, you know, like you've got a job and you, you know, maybe you've got two jobs, three jobs, people do have two or three jobs, and they've got a goal of putting down for the mortgage or buying a car or going on a holiday or whatever it might be, they've got a goal. Business owners also to can fall into this category. And what happens is you push yourself, you push yourself, you know, maybe doing 60 hours a week. I don't know, for two years, three years, you know, you get, get the picture, just really overworking yourself. Or you're in an abusive relationship physically and um, mentally. Or you work just in a job where you really can't stand your boss or your colleagues and they make your life a hell. In fact, you're thinking about your job before you go to work on a Sunday, how your Sunday looks really dark because you're thinking of Monday morning. It happens. So what happens is your mind starts to say, I don't want this. I don't want this yinka. You're pushing the body. You're pushing me too hard. I'm going to do something about it. And it comes up with this thing called the psychosomatic illness because the mind and the body are related. So if the mind is out of sync, the body's going to go out of sync. And if the body's out of sync, the mind can go out of sync as well. They work together. They're not separate entities. They're together. And some of the things that you'll get from a psychosomatic illness will be ulcers, arthritis, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, if people know what that is, neck pain, backache, high blood pressure, of course, diabetes, heart attacks, strokes, and even cancer. And this is the mind telling the body, I am not interested in what you're trying to do. You need to slow down. You need to take a stop. And then the, the mind will just do something to the body. It'll affect one of your organs or, your, or some part of your, of your function, your bodily functioning, so that you can no longer be going to do that job for 60 hours a week. You can no longer be arguing with your partner because you're sick. You're probably in the hospital. You probably might even be fighting for life. But either way, something will happen to you to stop you from continuing to live in the life that you're living because your mind has said, no, it's not having it. I mean, you know, it's important to achieve your goals in life, but not at the cost of your mental and physical health because those things, sometimes they can't be replaced. They can't be brought back again. You can lose your mental health stability because mental health is, is on a linear, it goes up and down all the time. But... You know, you can, you can regain mental stability, should we say. But if your health is seriously affected, you might not be able to make a full recovery from some, from some of the illnesses that I've mentioned, some of the conditions that I've mentioned. So before it gets to that stage, take heed. Ask yourself, am I really pushing myself too hard? Am I, you know, burning the candle at both ends? Am I in a terrible job which just... It makes me sick to my stomach. You know, I know you people just can't leave their job willy-nilly, but at the end of the day, 
if you can make a plan to leave the job if it's making you really, really unhappy, get out. You're more important. If you're in a bad relationship where you're being mentally abused, physically abused, and you're putting up with it for the sake of the children or the sake of whatever reason you're giving to yourself, what's going to happen when you fall down from a severe illness or something happens to you? Now, for me, I had no idea about these things at all, to be quite honest. But I was studying at college and our tutor came in one day and, uh, you know, she just started to explain to us about her condition, which was that she was in a very abusive relationship with her husband for years, physical abuse from her husband for years. And she said it led to her developing uh, breast cancer and she had a double mastectomy. She had both of her breasts removed. And she said she stayed in that relationship far too long. And the consequences of it was she developed breast cancer and had both of her breasts removed. Now, I was in a class of about 16 of us, and most of us had our mouths open. We could not believe what we were hearing. But from that day onwards, I've realised that if you push your body too hard, push your body too hard, your mind will say no. And the actual term for it is psychosomatic illness. Psychosomatic illness. Look it up for yourself. You'll see it there. Now, things you can do to alleviate it are, obviously, getting out of the situation that you're in and find there's something better for you to do with your life, with the person that you're with, or the job that you're in, or whatever whatever the situation is causing you to feel very stressed. You know it's there. You would, you know, this is not going to be something, oh, I didn't know it was, you're going to be knowing it's there, but you're going to be trying to bury it and say that you can carry on, irrespective. Well, <laughs> you can carry on irrespective, but there will be consequences somewhere down the line. And if you're prepared to pay for that, then what can I say? I can't say anything to you, but... Knowledge, knowing something about something helps you to be able to make a better decision. And that's part of what this channel is about. One of the key components of this channel is to help people to be able to know something that they didn't, wasn't aware of and be able to take action on it. So what can you do? You can obviously start running, going to the gym, going for walks, having your de-stress um, times, meditation. Um, you know, if you can go on a holiday, go on a holiday, visit friends or make sure you've got a social life that can counteract a lot of the stress or pressures that you're going through or you're putting yourself through, you know? Um, somebody was saying to me the other day that, you know, there's no point being the richest person in the grave, like somebody like, um, in a graveyard, something like, um, what's his name? Steve Jobs, one of the most richest men, you know, from techno technological advances, i.e. Um, Apple, he worked at Apple, very, very rich man, but he died of cancer. Um, there's no point being a rich man or woman, wealthy, and you can't enjoy the fruits of your labour because you're sick, you're incapacitated. Hopefully this talk was useful to some, and if it was useful to some, it should be useful to many. Share it with your friends, family, colleagues, leave comments. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, just subscribe. There's, there's going to be a button on YouTube where you can hit subscribe and there's a notification bell that you can press, that will notify you as soon as my videos come out. I do one every two weeks. I try to put a lot of quality, a lot of thought into what I'm doing. It needs to be relevant to what's going on in the world. Of course, right now, we're in, in this country, we're going through quite a difficult time when lots of bills are going through the roof and people are actually looking for second jobs and are stressing out. And those stresses can lead to psychosomatic illnesses. So try not to stress too much. So until next two weeks time, Stay safe, try to stay positive and think about what kind of things you are putting your body through and what your mind might be doing to you to stop you. So bye for now. Take care.